No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition, is back. Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high-quality music. Hey guys, it's Andy with No Film School. I'm here with Elle, who's the creative director for Digital Bolex, a cinema camera some of you guys might have heard of. What's new with Digital Bolex? Hey Andy, thanks for stopping by. Um, the thing that we announced that was big for us at NAB, and actually this is our first NAB booth, so that in itself is like a pretty big milestone. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, we're very happy to be here. What we made as our NAB announcement this year is we have um, a two terabyte hard drive camera that's gonna go on sale May 1st, and that will hold uh, over, uh, I think it's six and a half hours of 2K raw in one sitting and eight hours of 1080. And uh, that's designed more for uh, our users that are doing like really hardcore documentary work or are filming live performances. Because uh, we have a lot of uh, really amazing nature documentary filmmakers that use our camera. And a lot of times they're like, you know, we want to go out into the jungles somewhere in Southeast Asia and we're going to be backpacking and we're not going to be back for days. and. We don't want to carry all this stuff around. Can you just make a bigger camera? <laughs> and so we did. Yeah, that is pretty. Uh, it's an pretty interesting anomaly, I guess, in today's day and age to have an internal SSD, a non-removable media. Can you tell us a little bit about that decision? Well, originally, um, it was meant just as a buffer to the CF card slots that we have in the back. It was a means to protect our users' footage um, by ensuring that the first place that all the footage wrote to, because there's so much data being copied, was a very safe, secure drive. And the drives we have in the camera are very expensive, enterprise-class SSD, and the stat on them is supposedly that you can write and rewrite them every single day for five years without the drive being degraded. It comes available in standard C-mount, MFT, and PL. And we're hoping to announce a fourth popular mount shortly that uh, we had a couple meetings at the show about that went very smoothly. You can't say which mount that might be? I can't say what mount that might be, but perhaps by Cinegear we will all know. Also, it's very obvious. <laughs> so, Elle, I noticed you had a little card uh, talking about grants for f women cinematographers. Yeah. Can you tell us a little about it? So, we um, announced that we were going to do a grant, I think, in uh, 2014. And in 2015, we announced the first recipients. I think we've had about 10 projects that have shot using the grant so far. What the grant is, is basically a gear grant that's estimated about $10,000 value. And we loan those for up to three week period to films with the only criteria being that they be shot by a woman cinematographer. And it's a way to encourage uh, directors of either gender to hire women DPs on projects because one of the reasons that DPs get hired on a very indie scale is based on what gear they already have available to them. And so being able to give this package to women DPs maybe will give them something to bring to the table that they wouldn't necessarily have because it can be kind of a catch-22 where you can be a great DP, but if you don't have the gear, you don't get the job, and if you don't get the job, you can't buy the gear. And yeah, a universal problem, cycle. yeah. Oh, yes. And so we've had two films now, both shorts, that in the last year have gone completely through the process and are through post and have premiered. And the first one is a University of Connecticut thesis film called Triples, and that premiered at our Slam Dance Showcase and then went on to play the Atlanta Film Festival, and it got a lot of attention there. The other project is called Wannabe, and it premiered this week at Tribeca and has been getting a huge amount oh, awesome. of press and buzz. And uh, we're really excited because the filmmakers for that are just incredibly enthusiastic about the product and about the grant. With smaller indie projects, shooting fully raw is something that is not really appreciated until everyone gets into post because there is a little bit more latitude on set to be able to move faster and not, not have to really capture specifically for the little 8-bit on-bit monitor and know that that's what you're getting. Um, and so we've had a lot of people that you know are using the camera for the first time with the grant and are going, whoa, this really helped us get what we wanted and we didn't know, you know, based on the schedule or the budget whether that would have been possible. So that's been really great to hear. Awesome. All right, thanks guys. That was Elle with Digital Bolex at NAB 2016.